hello guys welcome to solving solutions on brand channel where i get solutions to all the solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to define the projection of your shape file so you know when you create a shape file you usually have about six files right good so all of these files help that particular vector data to work so we are in the folder where we have our shape file and then we can see the cpg the dbf we can see the shp and then the shx right good so these are the shp and the shx now the very important one is the shp which you can easily drag and then drop right good however you can see a warning here that we have an unknown coordinate system the map data source is missing right good now this is because in this our folder here we do not have the prg file the dot prg file which is the projection file so it is very important sometimes you might not have observed that the projection file is not there and then you just drag and drop or you use any other method to import what your um, your shape file now the shape file is there just that the color is very very faint let's use a brighter color of um, red and then Perhaps let's also increase the size to about two, right? Good to enhance our legibility. So let's um, apply that. Now, if we zoom this to layer, we are going to find out that it is somewhere very far from where it is supposed to be. Now, this is one condition. Next condition is that perhaps the PRG file is there. That's the projection file is there. However, when you are trying to create it or maybe export it, you have assigned the wrong PRG file to it. So when you now zoom to layer, it is taking you to a completely different location, right? Good. So these are some conditions that can prompt us to what to assign projection or to define the projection of what our shape file. So in this case, our data set does not even have what a projection at all so you right click you get to the properties and then under properties you come down to source then you come to the spatial reference you can see unknown coordinate system so if it is unknown or it is wrong like it's not supposed to be what it is maybe you are in zone 31 and then it's in zone 32 or you are in a different datum and it's in a different datum so you can still use the same approach to what to fix it so the approach of fixing it let's come to geoprocessing and then let's um, search for defined projection good now what does it do it overrides the coordinate system information that is a map projection and datum stored with a data set now this tool is intended for data sets that have unknown or incorrect coordinate system defined so those are the two conditions that we have just narrated it is either it is unknown which is what we have here or it is incorrectly what um, defined right good so we click on it let's try to make it big a bit now the two modifies input data set right good or official class because when you are done you would have a different CRS, right? Good. So our input will definitely be the contours that we have. And then you can see the coordinate system is unknown, right? Good. So you click on this. And then you see there is no CRS here for the XY and then for the Z, right? Good. But we are more interested with the XY for now. So we can, if we have other layers, under the drawing order we can decide to use what the crs of those layers or we can actually define the coordinate system by ourselves now we would like to use a geographic coordinate system and not a projected right good so if it we are projected you click on the drop down you select your projection and then since we said we are using geographic we are going to use this drop down and then we scroll down to world then from world we search for the gs what um, 1984 right good which is this right good so we are now trying to assign this wgs 1984 to our data set right good so since it does not have it will be given this and if perhaps it already has and it is wrongly assigned it will be what reassigned this right good so if we click on ok and then we run good you see now that it has moved 
which is trying to tell you or it is indicative that it has moved to where that particular CRS would have assigned it in space, right? Good. So it's completed. So if we zoom to layer now, we have seen that or we can see now that it has what been located very well. So if we come back to our folder we are working with, you can now see what the PRG file, which is what the projection file, right? Good. And then that shows that this particular data set that we are working with now already has what a projection file and then from the location we have seen we can see that it was what well located so we have shown you on this tutorial how to use this um, defined projection tool which actually is intended for data set that have unknown or incorrect word coordinate system which in our case is actually unknown right good so thanks for coming to class we hope to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye